Hey guys, it's Agent Over BHA here bringing you another tutorial. Now this one's a little bit different. Uh, I know most of my videos involve home assistant and home automation, and this one's not too far from that, but uh, that's not all I do. I like to do a lot of uh, network monitoring and various things with uh, all my network devices around my house, uh, specifically uh, using SNMP uh, for pulling in lots of data and statistics that you can get. Um, uh, from all your devices. Open NMS is a great open source tool. Uh, it's fairly easy to install and set up and uh, it will pull in all the uh, SNMP data and if you just want to monitor ping and other services on there you can do that as well. Um, so another really cool fe feature about Open NMS is that it uh, has a plugin for Grafana. So if you like Grafana and you use it for anything else, it has really awesome looking uh, graphs and stuff, this is definitely a cool feature to have because you can pull on all this data that it, uh, that OpenNMS collects and uh, you know make those pretty graphs in Grafana. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what you guys think. So let's do a quick run through of everything I'm going to cover in this video. Uh, so of course uh, I'm going to start by making sure my uh, system is up to date. Uh, once we do that, basically we're ready to install OpenNMS. Uh, once that's installed, we're going to pull up the uh, web interface for OpenNMS and change the default password. And then of course lastly I'm just going to kind of add a, a node into OpenNMS to show you how that works. Kind of get you guys going with OpenNMS. Uh, so let's get started. So again, like I said, we're going to start off by doing uh, making sure our system is up to date. So we'll do a sudo apt get update and a sudo apt get upgrade. And of course, I'm not going to wait around for this to finish. So we'll kind of fast forward through this. Um, All right, so now that updates are uh, done, let's go ahead and install OpenNMS. And of course, I'll put this uh, all in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it. But basically, we're going to pull it down from their GitHub page, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and run through the installer. Now, this will prompt you for setting up the uh, database and everything. It'll ask you for a database name and a password so you can just go ahead and create some sort of username and password for that whatever you want it to be and this setup will take a little bit of time i uh, i'm fast forwarding through it here just a little bit at least to uh, a couple of different sections in here where it's going to have some prompts for you to uh, say yes or no So here it's going to say it must be run manually. That's okay. Just say okay. We'll fix that at the very end. Uh, agree to their license agreement. Like I said, it takes a little bit for it to, to go through the full install. I'll definitely fast forward through this a little bit faster because this is taking quite a while for it to finish. All right, so we finished the first part. Now remember it said something about running it manually, so we're gonna run a command right here that should take care of that part. And again, I'll put all this in the description. Uh, basically it's a, a sudo, uh, it's a user share open NMS bin install and then you're going to put a dash dis and let this run through it's going to finish whatever last few steps it needs to do to get the install working properly and configured
Now let's move over to the web front end and I'll show you what the login looks like and we'll change that password. By default, the port number is 8980. So basically you put the IP address of your machine, uh, colon 8980, it will bring you to this login prompt. And the default username and password is admin admin. So we're gonna go ahead and log in with admin admin. And if you go up here to the right where uh, it has the little user icon and says admin, click the little arrow button. And we're going to say change password. And then again, we're going to select change password. And go ahead and, of course, put in our current one, which was admin, and then whatever password we want to set it to. All right, so now our password is updated, and we are good to go. And, of course, lastly, I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like to add a node into OpenNMS just to kind of get you started. So I'm going to go to Quick Add Node. And it's going to say, hey, you don't have a requisition. Let's go ahead and create one. So I'm just going to call it Add Devices. You can call it whatever you want. And let's see here. If I hit the space bar, it should allow me to select that. Yep. Add devices. Uh, I'm going to put in the IP address of my Unify controller for my access points. I have SNMP enabled on there. We're going to call it Unify. It uses uh, just a version 1 SNMP. And by default, I think the community string is public, so we'll just leave that there. It's really all we need to at least get that device pulled into OpenNMS. So we're going to say uh, requisite or provision. And if we go over here to nodes, look, there it is. It is pulled in my Unify controller and tells me at least some of the information, shows me what services I have running, which really is just SSH um, and SNMP. So just off the bat, it looks like it's in there and we are good to go. That's a quick and easy way to add a device into OpenNMS and at least get you guys started. So again, that's the end of the video. Uh, like I said, just another uh, cool network monitoring tool, way to monitor all the network devices on your network that support SNMP. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So again, we started out by making sure our system was up to date. Uh, once we did all that, we were ready to install OpenNMS. Uh, once that was installed, then of course we um, changed our default password just to make it a little bit more secure. Lastly, I showed you what it looked like to add a node into uh, OpenNMS to get you started. Like I said, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, please definitely subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other videos. And then, of course, lastly, uh, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.